Hey everybody, uh, this is Will again here with the uh, K9 TC's channel. Um, I'm gonna go over uh, two things here. At, uh, how to make uh, the, I've made my uh, one of my um, uh, downdraft wood stove, um, and uh, see here, we're gonna go over a uh, Coleman. Uh, or well, let's, uh, call it the Walmart camp axe. Um, this thing is uh, like your axe is only as good as a as a sharp as you, as you keep it. Um, I've had this thing for a long time. Matter of fact, uh, I actually um, went ahead and uh, pulled it out the other day, and it had been setting for oh gosh, probably like five or six years or something like that. Um, and uh, it was all rusted, and if you get real close, you can still, you know, you can still feel the pettings. Um, took a wire wheel to it, and uh, just, you know, basically ground the, the, you know, the hell out of this thing. Um, well, this thing isn't really all that great for a lot of stuff. One of the things that is great for is uh, the, uh, it's a. Uh, Oops. You know, it's splitting wood. Um, you know, when you're you're splitting kindling, and you just don't want to grab, you know, that, that big axe, um, or say you're doing something and uh, you um for your you know down down draft stove. Um, Here's another thing I'm actually going to show a lot of people that something like this, say your axe is getting dull and you have no way to sharpen it and, uh, you know, just, you know, it's a good, you know, oh, you know, here's another good way to, to take the blade and uh, always try to keep your hand out the way. And what you're going to do is you're going to hit the wood. And, uh, what you've effectively done is if I can show you here is you've made a notch in it now with that notch what you can do is is uh, you can yeah let's do it again here you can break that um, tell you it's a lot better than just you know, so if I see if I can do and splitting the wood and it um, again, this thing's great. You know, for splitting wood. Um, well, that's when you're well this way anyway. Um, so these little axes do come in handy. Uh, what I'm gonna kind of explain here on this one is uh, I've got my wood draft, down draft wood st uh, stove here, and what I've done is uh, I've got two ways to depends on what I'm using to cook with, and I've got the inner rings and. Uh, then I've got an outer ring that actually fits in on the top. What these do is these kind of fold in and I can either stick them in here or I can pull this apart here and, and I'll show you in a better detail. It's dirty. Uh, Piece here. All right. What I used was a gallon, a one-gallon can 
of, uh, it's, it's a paint can. Um, and uh, this actually had uh, a, uh, an enamel paint. And, uh, and uh, what I actually did was I took the uh, paint and I went ahead and put it in uh, a, you know, so drink a lot of Pepsi, a uh, two liter bottle. Um, eh, I didn't really very much that was left in here. I wanted to make it so I needed to put it up the side. Um, I've got a, yeah, it's good enough to strain and put some uh, meat thinner stuff in there to do some airbrushing and stuff with and, and whatnot. Uh, what I'm doing is I've taken a little quart can, a smaller paint can, and uh, essentially what I've done is I've put holes in the bottom. And, uh, let's make sure I can see this real good. I've put holes in the bottom. I've put holes on the sides that go all the way around, actually two layers. And then underneath the rim, I put holes going all the way around. Now this is the hole in the gasification for, uh, occurs. It's going to come out these holes and burn. And uh, see here, uh, what I've done is I actually took the lid to the can and I set it up on top and uh, I traced around it and I took a you know marker and I traced around it and then I cut around that hole and I, when I got the middle of that hole cut out I basically took a pair of pliers the easiest way is to take a pair of pliers and uh, and, and uh, bend everything back just enough to be able to push that hole through. So when I did that, uh, I then proceeded to go ahead and drill. Uh, these are uneven if you look, they're a little bit uneven. Um, it was getting late and I wanted to get it done. Uh, some holes. And I took, you know, some nuts and bolts and I bolted in top and bottom. And I can actually adjust the height I want. Um, for a uh, cooking surface um, so and what I can actually do is I can store you know some of my wood to be able to go to the next fire I can actually just store it inside here or I can have same thing restored inside here and uh Turn around and hang it on. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get something going here. Um, let's see here. I'm going to put a cotton shirt here. Parker. We're going to get the fire going here. And this may be, if it runs into the, which is going to, the 15 minute mark. Um, before 15 minutes, I'm going to have to redo another one. 
uh, we're gonna these stoves are, are great for camping uh, they're great if your power goes out um, you know they're which I, I love these things um, and uh, you know I guess if you really wanted to you I'm sure you could probably go buy one um, with anything else you know I'm, I'm a real heavy person on self-reliance I don't rely on anybody uh, you know for for anything um, and I don't rely on the government you know for anything either because I know that if shit hits the fan um, uh, you know it's gonna, it's gonna happen it's gonna happen yeah well one thing I want to do uh, yeah kind of explain to you here is if you can I don't know if you can see this it's hot um, on the bottom I kind of ended up with uh, the handles but on the bottom I put two lines of holes in the bottom on one side um, and the reason I did that and not the other is so you know to me well it's like a windbreak um, I mean it's you know I I, I it's kind of your choice um, I guess if you wanted to do something like that I don't doesn't really bother me um, you can go all the way around some people do um, I have actually left the bottom of my can intact um, and then that way if uh, I need to I can store stuff inside of it. Like I said, there, there's a lot of personal preference to this stuff. Um, and, uh, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and cut it off here. In the second video, I'll actually show it going really good here. By the way, you should always keep your, keep some, some, uh, extra wood there because you're going to want to fire to feed the fire and uh, as you can see without melting my camera We get a good, good and hot, and it's really going good. Uh, I'll uh, hit it and shoot another video. So please uh, check out the uh, second video with part two in this. See if you later.